In this video, we are going to install Sybase or AAC 16 version on Red Hat Linux operating system. In this video, first we will download the AAC 16 version software. Then we will install the AAC and Linux. Go to Applications, do open the browser, then go to Google, then search for Sybase download or SAP AAC download. See, this is the official portal or SAP portal to download the AAC software. Click on it. Then click on try now. I have provided the details for registration. Once you enter all the details, check this checkbox and click on this download this software. We have two types of the softwares. One is for Linux operating system and another one is for Windows. Click on this Linux. Save file and click on OK. Notice here, download has been started. It will take time to complete download. In the meantime, I am pausing this video until download completes. Download has been completed successfully. Now open the terminal. The present I am in my home directory. Switch to downloads directory where my SAP AC has been downloaded. See AC suit Linux AMD 64 version has been downloaded. See this is the zip file. We have to unzip it by running the command tar hyphen x v e f and give the file name and enter to unzip the file. I am pausing this video until this unzip process completes. Unzip has been completed successfully. Clear the screen. And I siphon NTR. See, these are the files contained in this zip file. Here we have two types of installation. One is through graphical user interface mode, that is GUI. And another one is command line user interface. Command line user interface is the most recommended and and using in the production environments or in any company. So I am going with command line user interface model. Give the dot slash setup dot bin and give hyphen i space console and enter. Notice here it is saying preparing console mode installation. Why? Because we have given here hyphen i console. That is the console mode of installation. Press enter. View the path where this file should be stored. Slash home. R2 schools. SAP AC. In your case, view the path where you want to install. And press enter. It's asking for the confirmation here. Why? It is saying this directory does not exist and asking us confirmation to create the directory. Thank you. Yes. Here we have to choose the installation set. I am going with the typical. Here we have to select software li license type select. If you have purchased licenses, then select one option. You want to install express edition then select then give option 2 i am going with option 3 that is evaluate sap aac type enter and press touch. this is the end user license agreement you want so default here this is the agreement we have to read it you want to skip it then type back and press one Enter. It's a preparing pre installation somewhere. See, these are the options. This is the installation directory. These are the features going to be installed. And the, this is the required space. And this is the available space in me. Red Hat operating system. And press enter to start. 
press enter again. Now installation process has been started. I am pausing this video until this installation completes. See installation has been completed. See installation has been completed and we are going to configure AAC. We are going to configure AAC server. See we have this many products of AAC. One is AAC and backup server, XP server, Java scheduler, self management tool, monitoring tool and cockpit. In this video, I am going to install only AAC and backup server. So, give one locate here, it has been selected and two for backup server. I have selected the products to be installed on this Red Hat Linux server and press enter. It's asking user account. I want to go with the, my current user account. Then press enter. It is asking us to specify the user configuration data directory to store the files, interface file, run file, and error log and other files. Default directory is this one. If you want to give specific directory, then give it. I am going with my default directory. Then press enter. Here we have to provide AAC name. I am giving it as product. That means production. This is the password for the SCL login. You can give the same password for the SCL login. Host name, I am going with the defaults. All defaults, if you want to specify, specify it. This is the error log file location. And this is the name of the AAC log file. Set the application. I am going with all defaults. Page size, default. Again, defaults. Default language also default. That is English all defaults it is asking us to enable the cockpit monitoring i don't want it then you want again it is asking for out my sap ac configuration i don't want it i am giving one then it's asking us to create sample databases or not by default this arrow pointing to no but if you want to install sample databases give the two otherwise one I want to install sample databases. I am giving two. Now it's asking for the master device location. I am going with all defaults. Yeah, all defaults, size and all. Enter, enter, enter. It's asking us to enable PCI or not. I don't want to enable it. Then you one and enter now it is going to configure backup server see production AC server name is PR body and backup server name is default name is prod underscore BSE BS means backup server enter this is the port number for backup server this is the directory for the backup log and this is the file name for backup server press enter it is going to configure new sap ac see notice here building master device now it is going to start the server notice here this is the run file run underscore pr order. it will take time to complete this starting server i am passing this video until this completes see devices has been building notice here Server started, uh, SA password set, and building the devices, sysprox and all. Notice here, server prod was successfully created. Now, it is creating sample databases. Once this completes, then it will create backup server. Now, it's configuring backup server. It won't take much time to start the backup server. Notice here, server prod underscore bs was created successfully. Also notice here, installation completed. And also notice here, this is the evaluation AC server. It is saying this evaluation license will expire in 30 days after first issue. That means, once we start the AC server, then this 30 days license period will be started. 
press enter in this video we have downloaded the ac server then installed it on linux server then in we have configured the ac server and backup server in the next video i will explain how to start and stop the ac server and backup server for more updates please subscribe my channel